Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your Divine Feminine Reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So this message is for anyone who is resonating with the Divine Feminine Energy, okay? Please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Also know that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody, okay? Let's see what's going on with the Divine Feminine. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. <clears throat> courtship. Excellent. So the courtship card, okay. The courtship card is all about partnerships, coming together with people, gatherings. Um, courtship card for me would pretty much align with like the three of cups or the two of cups in the other classic decks, okay? So let's see if we can get more information here. Tell us more about this message. You have the Knight of Swords. King of Cups, Six of Swords. Oh, what was that? Let's do that again. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Three of Cups. Yeah, didn't I say that? <laughs> it was like courtship, coming together with someone or people. Two of Cups, Three of Cups, and then the Three of Cups came out. Okay. Knight of Swords, King of Cups. Six of Swords. Hmm. Is there a clash that's going on here? King of Wands is on the back of the deck. Is there a clash that's going on here? Is there a clash? Is there a clash that's going on here? Tell us more. The Fool card. Oh, it's a new person, okay. Yeah, there's a new person here who's interested in you. But then I feel like you also have someone else. I feel like you also have, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, this, is, this does have to do with romance. You have another person here. Let me see, what's their energy? Because I feel like, yeah, Page of Swords. You have someone here who's had an eye on you for quite some time and they are interested, but it seems like there's competition here for this spot. Everybody wants the spot of the King of Cups, okay? Um, in your life is what I'm saying. You have two people who are fighting to be the King of Cups to you because that means that they are the one that you are romantically interested in, right? The one that you're romantically involved with. Okay, so it looks like they want the spot of the King of Cups in your life. Okay, I don't feel like you are in a relationship. What I'm saying is you have two people here. I feel like this one over here has been uh, interested in you for quite some time. They've been observing you from a distance. This person may even be financially abundant with the Six of Pentacles. Tell us more about the Six of Pentacles. Tell us more about the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they are. This is a very successful person. The King of Pentacles represents someone who's very successful, financially abundant, well off, you know, has that security and stability, um, very grounded, level headed, and they are a chariot. The chariot is someone who carries a success story, someone who's very driven and determined to succeed in life, okay? So this one over here, this suitor over here, we'll, we'll call them the King of Pentacles. Very successful, very hardworking, lives comfortably, clearly is financially abundant where uh, they can take care of themselves and also be charitable towards others. 
but they've been at a distance, you know, checking you out, observing you. But really your suitors want the spot of the King of Cups. That's who they want to be to you in your life. Then you have a new person, like both of them could be new because I don't feel like you're, you're not in a relationship. If this is their message, you're not committed to anyone right now. I feel like Page of this individual here has been checking you out. You know, they've been interested in you. Um, but then there's a newer person that's coming in, okay? A newer individual. Uh, that's why I heard with the full card that's here. And look at the Knight of Pentacles, right? The Knight of Pentacles uh, represents, this is someone who, they're both pentacles, lovely, grounded, stable, hardworking, especially the Knight of Pentacles, very hardworking. They start from scratch. It doesn't matter how hard the task is or how long it takes. The Knight of Pentacles always finishes what they started. Um, but yeah, hardworking and dedicated. Um, they could both be earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or somewhere in their birth chart. Maybe there's like a strong earth placement, sun, moon, Venus, or rising. Um, but I don't feel like these two are drastically different from each other, actually. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is a newer one. They could both be new, but I feel like this one here has been eyeing you for quite some time. And then this one, you know, is just now coming in. Okay. And they want that spot of the King of Cups, the one who's captured your heart. Okay. Um, now here's the thing. Knight of Swords. King of Cups, Six of Swords. You're, you're not going to be single. You're not going to be single for very long is what I'm hearing. You're about to start dating. Like going on, <clears throat> excuse me, going on romantic dates, okay? Romantic dates. Um, wow. Yeah, someone's, someone's, someone, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> someone's about to take you out on a date is what I'm seeing here. A very romantic night out. Um, let me see this Knight of Swords here. Because one of them is swiftly coming towards you. Clarify this Knight of Swords. Ah, the star. Wow. Mm. The star is wish fulfillment, okay? If you've been desiring to start dating or being in a relationship, this person is your heart's desire. They're coming in. They're coming towards you to bring you your wish fulfillment. Tell us more about this. I'm trying to see which one. Is it the one, this one here, King of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles? Holy Spirit. Let's see. Which one is it? Two of Cups. Who knows? There is going to be some sort of coming together. Yeah, Two of Cups and then Three of Cups. I said it. That's what the courtship card is. Is it the Knight of Pentacles? Yes or no? Is it the Knight of Pentacles? 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 Five of Swords. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Is it the King of Pentacles? It's the King of Pentacles. It's the King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is more slow moving. So that makes sense. Knight of Pentacles is actually the slowest moving energy in the deck. So they do take some time um, to come forward. It's the King of Pentacles. Mm. When I asked, Knight of Cups is someone coming towards you with a romantic gesture. Mm -hmm. That's exactly who the Knight of Cups is. So it's the King of Pentacles here. And he's going to be taking you out on a, it's a romantic night out is what I see. King of Cups, Six of Swords. Tell us about the Six of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. This, 
person has a lot on their plate. They work a lot. It's a king of pentacles. They really prioritize their security and stability. So they work a lot. They have a lot on their plate, but they're still going to make time for you. I feel like this person wants to romance you. I feel like they want to get to know you more. So you have a king of pentacles who's going to be embodying the energy of, of the king of cups for this, this night out. Yeah. Wow. King of Pentacles finally putting his pentacles down to focus on love. Wow. Another way I can read it, if it's not two people, it could be, it could still be this King of Pentacles who's very slow and moving. Because um, this King of Pentacles has been eyeing you for quite some time now. But I feel like he was very slow. He was slow moving to actually pursue you, to take this leap of faith, the fool. Okay, so if it's not two people, this could have been his energy in the past as a knight of pentacles. So it looks like he has he has definitely leveled up from a knight to a king of pentacles, if that is the case. What was that? Ace of swords, nine of wands, three of swords, king of wands, four of cups. The, okay, so what, what happened here? Why did he take so long? Okay, why did he take his time to pursue you? This is someone who likes commitments. King of Pentacles is very loyal and traditional. Okay, they love traditional relationships where they come home, they come home at the end of the day from, from working hard and their person is home, you know, their person is there waiting for them. Okay, and they eat dinner, then they go to bed, you know, he likes King of Pentacles likes traditions, likes security and stability. Um, and I feel like what something happens in the past where this person is tired of, of dating only for it to not become, become a relationship, okay? This is not someone who likes flings. Mm -mm. They don't like flings. They don't like one night, one night stands. Um, they like to invest in people. Okay, and uh, they like to see the outcome of their investment. And what happened in the past is I feel like they invested in people only for there to, you know, be a separation. Like it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, you know, go into a relationship. Whatever situation they were in in the past, I feel like they dated people, but it didn't last into a relationship. And that's what they don't like. You know, everyone likes to see the outcome of their investment. Nobody wants their time wasted. So if you're looking for that traditional uh, relationship lo with loyalty and commitment, it's always going to come from a king of pentacles, okay? So I feel like this person, the reason why it took some time is because they were watching you, like not in a creepy way, but they were observing you. They were seeing your lifestyle and they probably realized that you are also a queen of pentacles type where you take your security and stability seriously. You, you prioritize your career, you know, your success. You're not out here being wild and reckless and, you know, coming home late at night at three in the morning, right? You're a serious, focused, and hardworking individual, just like them. So they can see, they, they can see a future with you. They feel like you'd be a good person to build a future with, right? Establish something with. This is an earth sign that you're dealing with. And earth signs are all about staying grounded, you know, being grounded, having a, a stable, a stable lifestyle, a secure relationship. Security and stability is so important for earth signs. Okay. And so this individual, they didn't want to get disappointed again, right? They saw you clearly, you're very attractive. Okay. There was a connection there, but they wanted to know. Are you a serious person that they can settle down with? And they realize that you are. You are very, very stable. Maybe you even have a stable schedule, you know, and you focus on what's important in life. You are a serious minded person and they like that. Okay. So for many of you, it's not two people. It could be the same person who is now ready to come forward and commit. Um, and it's going to be interesting seeing them put that pentacle down just for that night out with you and embody their energy of the king of cups. Oh, they're going to romance you. Mm -hmm. And this person's very giving and they're very charitable. So I wouldn't be shocked if they spoil you. Okay. On that, that date. 
Um, you have the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Three of Cups. So the Nine of Pentacles represents someone who's very successful, well-accomplished, self-sufficient, okay? Um, two of Wands, someone who's trying to get it. Yeah, that's you. And they admire that. They admire that. Oh my gosh. You are so well grounded. You're, the Queen of Pentacles is well grounded, reliable, secure, stable, independent, successful. I feel like this person, they just admire you. They look at you and they look at the life that you've built all by yourself because the Nine of Pentacles is someone who's very self sufficient, codependent, not codependent, someone who's very independent, self sufficient, highly productive. One pentacle or one person acquiring nine out of 10 pentacles, you've done much work. You've done great work in your life. You've accomplished so much. And they're looking at you like, yeah, mm -hmm. they're like, that's my future spouse right there. Two of wands, trying to get a sense of direction here. Two of wands. You have the Seven of Swords. Verify the Two of Wands. The Lovers. Verify the Two of Wands. The Five of Cups. So... This person was running away from love in the past. Before you entered their life, they were tired. Like this is someone who was like, you know what? I'm done with the dating scene, the dating world. I'm done. Um, they were running away from love. They didn't want to be disappointed. They didn't want to waste their time anymore. This is, an, this is a king of pentacles. They like to see the rewards of their hard work. They like to see the outcome of their investments, right? You put so much in, you deserve a you, you deserve a lot out. You you deserve a return, right? If you put a lot in. The lovers, soulmate connections, the romance, yeah, they were they were very pessimistic with the five of cups. Very, very pessimistic um, about love, dating and relationships. They said, you know what, let me just hold on to my pentacles. Okay. And now you have this three of cups there. This person's going to become very social when it comes to you. The eight of cups is there. Oh yeah. This person, their goal is to bring you into their inner circle so that you won't ever leave, <laughs> you know, because you're rare. You're very rare to find. Queen of Pentacles is highly valuable. Look at this big pentacle in her hand. Tell us more about this Three of Cups. Let me see. Ten of Cups. The Eight of Cups is walking away from an investment. The Devil card, the Ten of Cups. Oh, so... King of Pentacles is a very valuable person and valuable people know other valuable people, right? They can tell and they can tell that you are clearly a queen of pentacles. You are a great match. You're a valuable person, but they do this thing where they like to really, really like when they find something good or someone good, they hold on to it forever and they cherish it, which is a really good trait, right? You want someone who knows your value and will not walk out on you or give up on you easily. Um, the devil represents strong desires that can sometimes lead us to being controlling or possessive, obsessive, you know, then you have the 10 of cups that's here, man, this person's going to want to really lock you in. Okay. They're going to, they're going to want to lock you in so that the two of you can build a life together. So don't be shocked if, because they took a long time to pursue you. And once they were able to get all the clarity and confirmation about you, they're like, you're the one. There's going to be a date. And don't be shocked once you say yes to being in a relationship. And I feel like very soon after, there may even be marriage, okay? 
They like what they see. They like what, what they see about you, what they know about you. Look, Ace of Swords is a big yes card. Okay, so they, they take they take a long time to pursue because they want to make sure that you are who you say you are, right? Um, they got the clarity and confirmation. They take a long time when it comes to pursuing, but once they commit, things will start moving fast, okay? This person's going to want to lock you in. <laughs> Two of Swords in the reverse. They're not confused. They're not conflicted. They're not torn anymore because they were about love, not about you, but about love. Now they know after receiving clarity and confirmation by divine intervention, they know that you're actually the one and they will settle down. They will settle down most likely with you, the emperors here. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you're going to see this person... It's gonna things are the, the 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 pace is gonna pick up is what I'm trying to say. The pace will pick up. Wow. Ten of Swords. Maybe they disappointed you a little bit because they weren't picking up the pace, but you never want someone to start something with you and they are unsure, you know. But Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you were like, what in the world is going on? Because maybe you got your clarity and confirmation about them, but they weren't meeting you halfway. So I see you reacted in some sort of way, you know? You're, you started to feel like, okay, maybe I should stand my ground and defend myself. What's going on here? Because they were, mo they were moving at such a slow pace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very slow. Look, death, very, very slow pace. And now they've received, now they know for sure, for sure that you are exactly who you say you are, that, and I feel like this person knew, they, they knew who you were, but they just, they were like, let me wait a little longer, okay, in case there's any pop-ups or surprises, right? They didn't want to be disappointed, but there's a steadiness to you where you, you, you never changed, you stayed true to yourself. Nothing changed about you. There was no pop-ups or there were no surprises. You are a very stable, well-grounded individual. Okay. So I feel like this person, they do know your worth. They do know your value. They knew that you were queen of pentacles, but they didn't, I feel like they didn't trust their, they didn't trust uh, themselves completely. So they said, let me wait a little bit and, and still see if this queen of pentacles is going to be con consistent or is there going to be any pop-ups and surprises, right? And there were none. So now that this person has received all of the clarity and confirmation, here they come. They're coming towards you. Wow. And it's big. Look, they keep on showing up as an emperor. This may be someone who ends up being your husband, you know, father of your kids. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Ten of Pentacles temperance. There's big moves that this person's going to be making. Very, very big moves, okay? And I keep on hearing date night. I keep on hearing this date is going to be very, very romantic. They're going to blow your mind. Um, and I actually want us to do an extended so we can see what we're able to know about this date here that they're going to take you on. Um, and anything else that you, would, that you should uh, know about this individual because there's a lot to uncover about them. They've been at a distance watching you and it's time for them to come close to you so that they can show you more of who they are. Okay. And I'll tell you what, what you can expect. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the message and the reading. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. If you're interested in connecting with me more, all of my information will be in the description box. The link to the extended will be in the description box. Sometimes I'll have it in the comment. If it is in the comment section, it's going to be pinned, okay? So it'll be the first comment that you see, or you can simply click the middle thumbnail on the screen. Thank you guys so very much. Take care and many blessings to you.